Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, and I wanted to come on and talk a little bit about a piece of artwork that I saw this morning and a bit of a, a reaction to it. But before I do that, please make sure if you're enjoying the channel, even if you're not, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding ding, and make sure you follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. It would really, really help out the YouTube if you would subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff, just because, you know, I, I've got a couple videos that, that really hit hard and, and did well, but it's kind of ebbing and flowing. So like the more more traction we can get the better because uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot of good feedback so we want to get the want to get the word out so we can just keep me going a little bit longer uh, so okay so this piece of artwork that I saw today it was really interesting at first glance like I liked it so basically it's 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 the new Superman David Corn Sweat as a sort of kingdom come version and it's really good it's by Blue Bumblebee it's got some cool lighting uh, behind it it's, I like his hair, it's very Superman-y. I like the suit, but I was looking at it and it got me thinking like, there were just, it just looked really familiar. Like obviously at first glance, it is based off of the CW Superman Kingdom Come with Brandon Routh. But then I was like, that's some really specific lighting that I'm seeing. So I, I, I knew that I had seen it before. So I did a quick Google search uh, I just googled Brandon Routh Superman Kingdom Come and sure enough I found the image that has this exact likeness so I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can see the comparisons but if you look at it so the first thing that I noticed were the lighting glares the the glares on the left the glares on the right and I was like that's really specific I know I've seen that before and sure enough it's the same exact lighting then I looked a little bit closer and then you see sort of the the cape and the wrinkles in the cape and the pleats in the cape and then the wrinkles and the uh, the sort of pattern in the actual suit itself and I'm like that's actually just Brandon Routh's suit with David's face and neck sort of photoshopped into it and it made me think like again I really like this piece of art I think it's cool I like it I love that version of the suit but it made me think right with all the AI that's going around today, what, I mean, and I'm not saying that this blue bumblebee guy AI'd this thing, it's just, he, I don't think he did, I think he just did some good Photoshop. But at what point do we say it's fan art and then at what point do we say it's just completely sort of ripped off, right? Like, so AI, for example, there's so much of that going along and going around and you can, you know that AI uses uh, the IP from things that are already out there, basically ripping off uh, people's art that they've already done. And whilst it's kind of cool to look at, like there are a lot of cool ones going around, like Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, Hel Helen Slater, you can always tell it's AI because text in the background or their hands or something, or the logos or something is, is happening. But you, you, you don't ever th think that somebody's going to try to claim that as their own art. Now this, this blue bumblebee, I'm not saying that he did, but I, I don't know that I consider it fan art. So what is art to me? I think art is something that's created by someone else. Now I'm the last person to talk about art, right? Like I'm an actor, I'm reading other people's scripts, I'm putting other characters on, I'm a cosplayer. Everything pretty much that I do is copyrighted, but I always credit the original artist. And I would never say it's my, and look, I do my own original photography. I have friends that do their uh, photography for me. But it's almost always based off of something. And when it's specifically based off of something, I make it a point to credit them in the post. And I feel like I don't know that that was really done here because it's not, this art wasn't created by this guy at all. Like the suit is completely the Brandon Routh suit in exactly that frame of the show. The the the, the David Corn sweat face, I'm assuming, is from a picture. Maybe he created the hair a little bit, but it's like, where's the boundary between fan art and sort of homage, <laughs> homage, and completely ripping it off? Like, I mean, I guess I have a bit of a biased, a biased, I have a bias toward this, because a, a few times in my day, uh, in my day, shut up, Andrew, you're not 500 years old. Um, 
I've seen people literally take photos of me from my Instagram, rip my head off <laughs> Photoshop wise and put their head or face on and put it on their page or their social media and pass it off as themselves in a suit. And whenever I see that, I reach out to them. I'm like, A, that's my body, first off. B, it might not be my photograph. Maybe it's one of David Frumholtz's photographs or another photographer's photographs or even my photograph. But I'm like, like, fine. Like, that's fine. Like, I'm at the end of the day ripping off a copyrighted thing. But like, if you're going and using my specific body and trying to pass it off as yours, that's like kind of not great, I feel. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know where the line is. I'd be really interested to see what your thoughts are, so please make sure you do comment below. But I always write to these people, I'm like, mm, can you like at least credit me or credit the photographer or put the original photo up? Like, I imitation of course is the most sincere form of flattery, but it's just like, where is the line drawn? So again, I don't really know what the point of this video was other than to react and talk put the discussion out there about AI and fan art and what's real, what's not, what's, what's, where's the line between I've created this to I've stole, I've stolen, I've, I've, I've ripped this off. So again, I'd be really interested to know what your thoughts are. So comment down below. Uh, but that's kind of all I really have to say about that. So again, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, do comment your opinions down below. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notifications bell, ding, ding. And uh, follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time.